Father, we love you and thank you that we can love you with a love that you've given us, a pure love, a holy love, an unconditional love where there's quality and beauty that can be portrayed in that love that we can give you and one another and in the way that we can love ourselves even. But God, thank you that we can express so many of this through prayer as an invitation that you invite us to speak to you. You invite us, you want us to communicate with you. You want us to speak to you and enjoy conversation with you, Lord. You want to have a conversation with us. And for that, you give us the invitation. We honor you for that. We thank you for that, Father. But you, we also want to invite you in our prayer life that we will not just come and focus on our needs and what, how we see things, Lord, and even how we uh, experience and how we see you, Lord. No. God, but please come and even... If it's halfway through a sentence, my God, and you want to say something that we will be sensitive enough to hear that you are speaking. Please, Lord, in our prayer life, we invite you to come and say whenever, whatever you want to say. Thank you for that, Lord, that we have the capacity to hear you in such a way, to hear your voice. God, and even through our prayer life, we want to walk away in situations with testimonies about how we prayed for this and then that happened. God, not just how we prayed for something like a, like a Ferrari and then you gave us a Ferrari. Lord, but to testify how we prayed for a specific thing, but you answered in a different way. God, because you always answers. You always will answer our prayers. But so many times in ways that we not always would love to hear or like to hear. Forgive us for that, Lord, but we choose to be sensitive enough not to put your voice in a certain box for an answer. No, God, forgive us for that. But please, we want to walk with a permanent testimony, testimony about you in our prayer life. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you that through our prayer, it's an opportunity. You give us an opportunity to build your kingdom, to build your kingdom with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you guide us in our prayer life, that what we pray will be an opportunity for the authority of God to be established more and more in and around us. The authority of the kingdom, the king and his authority, the authority and the final say of the king in every situation. God, that's kingdom. That is kingdom. We want and we desire kingdom prayer. We want a kingdom prayer life, a, a prayer life that's about the king and that brings the king on the, on the scene, that, that bring the voice of the king there where we are praying. We trust you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. God, and even in a unique, supernatural conversation to you, from you, Lord, we trust you that that will, that will happen even in the, in the book of Acts where, where they stood there, the apostles, but everybody heard a message in their own language. God, may we be able to pray in such a way that people will even understand what we don't understand, what we are praying. That people will understand what we are saying, that we don't even know what we are saying just because of a passionate, accurate prayer life. We want that type of prayer life, Lord. Lives, Lord, that is, that is our heart's desire. Come and do that. Touch our hearts, touch our lips, our lips and our minds, Lord. Arrest our focus that what we pray will just bring a multiplication, 30, 60, 100 fold harvest for your kingdom, for your glory, and that the people will stand amazed and say, wow. It's not the man praying. It's God speaking and God working. Thank you that you honor us in such a way that you want to work based on our prayer many times, Lord. Help us by your grace, Lord, where we fall short so many times in our prayer lives. But thank you that you don't condemn us, but you invite us even more. And that you enjoy 
enjoy it when we speak to you. Not with our requests only, but Lord, but with our whole being, our hearts, and that we will more and more enjoy our prayer lives with you. That's my prayer also for everyone hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.